<laughs> All right, hello everybody. <coughs> Look at that. <coughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but the wheel chocks sway back and forth. Just figured I'd let you guys get a view of that. <coughs> Check stream lights. That's important. Damn, this thing's unloading really freaking slow. Mm. Mm. Yo, to be honest, I'm not sure I put that in the, the Streamlabs one yet. I think I did, but I'm not sure. I may not have. Because I was having issues with it when I was trying to add some of them. There were what? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it worked there. Yeah, also, the narrow tires on, oh god, I just ran that thing. The narrow tires on these tippers do not work. So we're going to be, we're going to be changing that out. Ta-da. Huh? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be making fun of me getting hit and shit, alright? You know I'm gonna do it. It's a given. This is a fucking given. I love the unload on this. Look at that. That's awesome. How it goes right with the edge of where it actually opens, it doesn't like glitch out and just come out from the bottom anyway. Alright, let me see if I can fix the, the Streamlabs thing. I'm having so many issues with everything lately. It's definitely getting uh, annoying. Maybe. Just 
for right now. Sorry guys, give me just a second. I'm trying to uh, rectify some technical difficulties at the moment. What I had to do is relink Streamlabs to my YouTube. Um, pretty much. did was I took off a bunch of um, moderators uh, to get <laughs> to get to the point where I could add more changes saved so it should in theory it should work now jello I love jello why'd you have to make me think about jello how are you gonna come in and immediately talk about food like that like real. Green's always a better color, but red is my favorite. I'm just saying. Okay, please work. Streamlabs, don't be freaking gay. Just, just, just do it. Okay? Just work. Like a, that's a heavy rip on Streamlabs. So I'm selling these bitches right now because they suck. They suck biggity balls. Cause they, <laughs> it said narrow tires, homie. Narrow tires, but they they destroy things. They are destructive. Now I gotta remember where my other trailer is at. Let's look. Because I think it might be. Yep. 
Of course. Why we take something a little faster? Hey. Eh? Ah, oh, not that. That's too fast. That's just. And you really want me to crash, don't you? Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to post in Discord. See, I'm such a slacker streamer. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. post it yet hold up there bam there we go bam I'm posting in the other discords I got other discords shh I got other discords what you guys know about other discords you know about other discords? I know about some other discords. There. I got all kinds of bams going out right now. Bam, 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 bam. All right. I'm good. I just fired off rounds like, like nobody's business. Skirt. Oh, shit. I do? Because I didn't post it in your Discord. Whoa! Because I don't think there's a place for that. If there's a specific place for other people to post their streams in someone's Discord, you better believe I'll do it. Back to old Betsy, guys. Back to the original trailer. I thought I was gonna be sly and get those other trailers and daisy chain them and and have narrows on them and drive through the crops like a G. And no, no, rip. weights on this the wheel the wheel weights but 
Those Midas tires look awesome on this thing. Yo, we still need to cultivate all of those potatoes in because I said in the, in the last stream on Mercury, F potatoes. I ain't doing potatoes. It ain't it ain't happening like that. So yeah, we're gonna deal with that too. I might actually I might get the Fiat. Whoa! Yo, I might get the Fiat going on that. My bad, bro. Shit, look at me like that. That's what I thought. You better look dead ahead. I'm one paying you, bro. I think I won't hop in there and press circle. Try me. You'd be out of a job. Yo, you can answer in chat if you want to, or like in on stream, you don't have to answer in chat. Playing what? Oh yeah, you can't be wasting me. <laughs> this is driving me crazy. I gotta put the lizard wheels on this thing. Might as well change that too. Yeah. Those wheels are too big for this trailer. That looks better. Get over here and get ready for the next one. And we'll hop to the Fiat if I can. <laughs> okay. thinking maybe the volume might be down that's fun man that makes me feel good I'm being muted <laughs> it's all good I gotta subsoil all of these freaking potatoes in so we'll get started it's already been harvested, or is it growing? I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, it's already been harvested. Good. We're still going to subsoil it. Just turn around, hopefully knock it out like that. 
like this. Might have to do a headwind down that other end though. So did I not did I not buy it? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god, both of them. Yeah, I was like, oh I'm gonna be at like fifty grand and then I never bought it. I sit there thinking I was at fifty grand that whole time. We have a female on the job, so we know it'll get done a lot better. More attention to detail. Alright. Let's unload the harvester since it's going the right direction. We'll go ahead and follow it down. going around that direction. I wonder how much we missed on that end. Let's go look. I'm going to guess and say a little bit. Mm. Yeah, a little bit. Not much though. spin going on here. I thought about streaming the old stream farm. And I think what I'll do is probably harvest these fields here on Mercury and switch over to the old stream farm. And then let the rest of the stream carry out there. And then we'll see. Seems got a lot uh, wider turn radius than most tractors, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to turn around like that. Let's switch to. There we go.
Alright, now while they're working on that, I'm gonna go grab the stump grinder. Get rid of those stumps. Damn, what happened? You died. <laughs> Seventh place. That's not bad shit. Fucking top ten. That's a solid top ten. That's not like tenth or ninth. You were you were in there. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting a little whoa, getting a little crazy here. Hold up. Okay, give me two seconds, guys. Good. Let's go get these menacing stumps out of the way. I want to take out this hedge too while we're here. Can't really hear you, man. Yep. What were you saying? What does? Yeah, I mean, I, mo I would, and mo well, I mean, technically they're all separate plots of land on you know, potentially owned by separate people, so I mean, yeah, but make in making a map, yeah, I think you're right, though, I think he put it in as, like, yeah, something else you can do, you know, you can leave it like that, because some people like it like that, especially with having hills like that, where it's kind of rolling hills, it's actually kind of good to have those hedges, because if you do bales, round bales, you don't have to worry about them rolling off and going crazy, finding them halfway across the map. Everything's kind of contained. That does happen a lot. Yeah, I don't, and I don't really mind messing with the fences either. I mean, it's not that like they're hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
Mm -hmm. We can start taking out the hedge right here between these fences too. Or <laughs> between these fences, between these fields. And the harvester's working on that last strip there. <laughs> I just realized <laughs> Mark the beginning of it and go ahead and take this one out. And then we'll leave the uh, stump grinder here. empty out the harvester get it going on the next field we got some oats over there in 14 to deal with I'm not gonna drop straw on that field yeah, this is plenty of straw for this one for right now I don't think I'll need any much more than that if I need any more than that I'll buy what little bit I do need after that and then we'll worry about straw later because Right now I'm more worried just about getting these fields harvested so that they can be plowed out and joined together. off the straw swath. There we go. Two headlands ought to be enough for this thing to turn around and not and not leave any. You know, thinking that it's going to run into the fence. Eventually, this fence here is going to come out, and that one in between those two is going to come out probably before this one does. I may leave that one to separate these two fields because this is all going to be. Um, sorry about the camera. This is all going to be one field on this side. Every these three fields you can see right here. 12, 13, and 14 are going to be one field, and then right here, 8 and 9, those will be joined together. Yeah, that ought to be plenty two headlands. down this side and we, get, we can get going. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, we'll do this side because I think it's going to take, um, I don't know, we'll see how, how full it is. I don't want it to be coming back up and be full. Actually, I don't care if the harvester stops because we're not dropping straw, so we're not going to leave big mountains of straw, so it doesn't really matter. It'll be alright. Stops. We'll jump in it and 
back it up. Back, 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 back it up. Oh, it'll be fine. I think it's going to take like three trips to fill that up anyway. Right now, we'll just leave this right there. Oh wait, no, that's wheat. We gotta go drop, drop that off. I was gonna leave it there to unload the harvester. But we gotta empty it first. Whoopsie daisy. We're gonna come through here with a windrower too, so we don't have to make that many trips with the with the baler. We are gonna bale that. I know we can store straw, but it's getting bailed. Actually, I might store that. I'll store that and then bail the next batch. <clears throat> it'll be easier to top them off with blue straw speaking of speaking about horses and the cattle that I have the five cows that I'm going to get no more Making pretty good progress. Driving really funky, but the field looks good so far, so that's fine, I guess. I wonder. I wonder if they're gonna have. Let's turn this off. I wonder if they're gonna have issues against this hedge here. Probably. Yeah, they've already missed a little bit. Funny, they get closer that way than they do when they can back up against it. That doesn't make any sense. I wonder, that means they probably miss some up here as well. Maybe not. Doesn't look like it. forgetting about coming back later which would be more likely in my case I'm gonna have to buckle down and play like just one map just stream like one map maybe one map on Twitch and one map on YouTube I think I'll stick with Mercury on, on YouTube. I haven't decided what I'll do on Twitch. I'm thinking probably Woodshire, but I'm not sure yet. I might actually, I might do a poll on Twitter. That's good, John. How you doing, man? Let me put my uh, Twitter in here. <clears throat> no, I'm good, man. Just kind of hanging out on the farm, dude. I think that's plenty big enough headland. Man. Um, if they can't turn around without missing some of the field here, then uh, I don't really know what to say. 
say. Yeah, just hanging out on the farm, man. There you go. Should be okay to finish it now. Looks good. Okay, 0% fertilized, but it doesn't need plowed, obviously, since we're, we're plowing it with that, technically. Anyway, um, go check out the, the Twitter, follow me on Twitter, and um, I'm going to do a poll on there, and we'll see which map I should do on Twitch. So, I'll leave that, I'll leave that up to you guys to decide which map, which map I do. So, I'll probably put that poll up. Um, actually, here in a minute, if I set a worker for something here in a minute, I'll, uh, I'll do that. I might set a worker to do the windrowing, which we're going to have to go get a, uh, a windrower. We're going to lease one. Yeah, I'll do that, and I'll set it. Yeah, I wish Follow Me would have came out for freaking console, though. It's the only bad thing, because I play on PS4, so. But I'm glad it came out. That's that's like one of the best one of the best mods for for farm sim, for sure. That makes the game so much easier. I wish it would come to the console, but I can kind of understand why it probably won't. It'd be a lot for the console to like handle for some reason. Of course, they said that about a lot of things. To be honest, Giant said that a lot of, about a lot of stuff about this game, and then map makers and modders and stuff just kind of poke at them and put it in their face that the UK actually can do it. They put stuff like that in the maps all the time. Like we still don't have reflective. Like check this out. You turn your beacon on. See that looks good and everything. The light. Looks great. It's awesome. But it should be shining on that wall. And it's not. Because the giant's gay. And they're trying to be cheap about it. It's all good. They said it can be done, but it's it's been proven that it that it can be done. They just refuse to implement it for some reason. <clears throat> Yeah, I wish they would. They, a lot of times they re, when they release things, they release uh, they release stuff all, all pretty much at the same time. It's just, man, I think we might be all right with this one, but I'm, go big or go home, right? Yeah, three grand, it'll be okay. Yeah, most of the time when they release stuff, though, it comes out on, on PC first. Goes through testing there, and then they and then they release it on PC right after it passes the testing. And then it still goes through console testing after that. So, I mean, it could... I mean, I haven't checked... I'll have to check the forums. I'll check the forums tonight, and... I'll probably stream tomorrow night. If I do, I'll let you know what I find out, but I'll check them and see what they say. Oh yeah, of course I played it in 17. I played the original, the original version of the old stream farm before it was in version two, before they expanded and put those big fields on the sides of the map. I loved that map, man. I love small maps. I spent seven hours on old stream farm today on on FS19 when it came out. I spent seven hours on it setting it up. So. You're tripping if you think that ain't gonna be on the list of, of maps in the poll. <laughs> For sure. Because it's, it's a good map. It, and I love the changes that they made in 19. I'm, there's a couple of things about about it that were in 17 that aren't in 19 that I really miss, but... Generally speaking, it's a freaking awesome map. It's a good one. Man, I almost jackknifed that thing like crazy right there. 
Let's see if I can get all three of these. I should be able to. Oh yeah, easy. Where to buy grain and seeds? Do you mean grain? Or do you mean seeds or do you mean both? There, from what I can tell, there are no seed cell, um, cell points on the map. From what I can tell. I haven't seen any. I haven't been able to find any. I, I turned my interactive markers on and, and looked and looked and looked and I, and I didn't see any. But there's, um, there's the solid fertilizer which I'm sure you found. It's the big silo right there on the back side of the, the actual farm silo. You can get solid fertilizer there. Interestingly enough though, there is something really cool about the old stream farm. In, it has those two cow pastures. It has a small one and it has a large one. If you, if you put cows in both of them, you'll see which one's which. But the one closest to the, the main road is the small one. Inside that one, if you're if you're inside that um, the smaller cow pasture um, the water trough is like inside the fence and there's like a dirt path that connects that pasture with a gate to the other cow pasture if you're on that dirt path with a water tanker like in f directly in front of that uh, water trough if you're on that dirt path, there's no water around you or anything, but you can refill your water tanker there. Just throwing that out there. I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but there is no water anywhere in sight, but you can refill your water right there in the middle of that, that pathway. If you turn your help menu on, you'll see it as you drive over it. It's freaking weird. I don't know why it's like that, but it, I swear it works. Yeah, yeah, you get to drive to the store and buy seeds. Um, if you notice the on uh, on the, like the back side of the garage, kind of by where the this trailer is like almost right in the way, I might be able to make it work. Uh, right behind where the uh, workshop is, there's um, like a small garage type carport slash thing, whatever there and it's kind of skinny and there's a shelf in there that shelf is too small to put any implements on as far as like a fork or you know anything like that or a bucket or a front loader bucket or anything like that it's too small but it's perfect for um, seed bags if you get the big bags they fit on there perfect so I mean that's that's what I'm gonna use it for that way it's not just wasted space I just wow I just like pressed the wrong button three times in a row <laughs> but yeah they fit perfect on there so that could be an alternative to like messing with pallets and stuff I know pallets get stuck on forks a lot and depending on which implements you're using they get stuck on there a lot oh shit we gotta empty the harvester just turn that off drop it right there um, but you can do that and then obviously there's placeables there's that buy anything mod that thing right there is super useful you can literally buy anything water slurry digest aid everything um, you could always do that you know if you needed to Alright, this isn't a huge field, so I'm not trying to destroy the crop. I want to get as much as I can out of it. So we're just gonna... Whoa! We're just gonna back the harvester up here. Hello? Sub nub? Oh, shit. How you doing tonight, man? Oh, I gotta readjust. There we go. Much better. I don't know if any of you drink soda, but if you do, what's your favorite kind? I'm curious. Or do you call it soda, or do you call it pop? 
because I know that's a big thing, a big difference. I don't even usually call it soda. Everybody around from where I'm from calls it pop. But I still I catch myself saying soda a lot. Try to store my bid bags and tip them directly into a dump truck and then build a silo on the yard where I tip the seed. Are there any silos that hold seed? Or do you mean like build like a, you know, like a root, root crop storage type of thing, like, like walls or something? Is that what you mean? Because if, that if that's what you mean, that would be much more complicated than just using the bags themselves. Much more complicated. It seems like a lot more work. But getting the bags at the store and having um, some sort of trailer that you can still fill other things. Like, there is the seed tender. You know, you could always get that. Um... I want to say it's like 30 grand though. Let's, let's look at let's look at it real quick. It's in the auger wagons, 20 grand. Um, it holds 8,000, so it's 4,000 of each. But the thing is, is it's got um, two bays in it, pretty much. So you can put seeds and fertilizer in it if you want to, or you can fill both of them up with the same thing. So if you obviously you don't need fertilizer, so you could fill it up with because you have that you know the the fill point there. Um, so you could fill it both up with seed and have 8,000 8, liters worth of seed in that. That would help you, you know, and then it's an auger wagon. You can load that, you can use that to load seed, cedars and stuff, even if they're out in the middle of a field, which I love using stuff like that. It's way more realistic. On Marwell Manor, I use that a lot on that, on, you know, on 18, it's huge. What's your favorite tractor in FS19? Um, dude, to be honest, I really, I really like this one. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's the one I use the most. Um, it's useful and it's cheap to get it right off the bat, you know, when you're first starting a map. It's super cheap. Um, but my favorite tractor... It's probably a tie between the Fent 1050 Vario, the modded version, and the Massey Ferguson, the 7700. Just because it can have a, a front loader. If it wasn't for that, I would say the 8700. But I love Massey Ferguson's. They're good tractors, and on the game they have awesome uh, turning radiuses. They turn really well, and they're, they're easy to handle. Decent horsepower, low slot count. Um, the 7700 is actually the highest horsepower you can get that still t um, that you can still attach a front loader to. FYI. But yeah, so it's probably it probably be one of those. Fill seeds, lime, and fertilizer, which you drive under when you fill up your seed, seed drill, etc. Are you talking about the one that's from, uh, uh, that's on Woodshire? Because that one you can't use on other maps. I know you can use that one on Woodshire. That's the only one that I can think of. Which you drive under during when you fill up your seed. Hmm. I don't know. Which one are you talking about, man? I've got all the silos downloaded, so. Unless you're talking about it on PC. Because this one won't take fertilizer and 
and stuff. It won't take fertilizer and seed. Yeah, definitely. Let me know. Now, these on Marwell, or not on Marwell, I'm sorry, but here on Mercury, these do. These take everything because Jim is a badass. But there's no, um, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. It's not a big deal, I have to be sorry about it, but yeah, I figured that was probably on PC. That'd be nice if that was on console. I would love that. Oh, dude, I took this out and I never, uh, I never landscaped it. So let's just fix this real quick. Sorry. There we go. There we go. We're good. I'm leaving that there for a reason. I just haven't done all the landscaping here that I want to do yet. So, I left some of it to do on camera. Alright, let's just park this under here for now because I'm going to use it a couple more times before I return it. Don't want it to get damaged by the weather, you know. Mm. Would I rather FS19 or FS17? I love the graphics and the, and the different things that they added into 19. So I enjoy that gameplay a little bit more than 17. But the mods that are available for 17 and the fact that you can you can run seasons on 17 and seasons isn't on 19 yet keeps me going back to 17. I prefer 19. I I like 19 better. But 17 is not going to be irrelevant until Seasons comes out for 19, as far as I'm concerned. That's the best way I can put that. And all the different things that, they, that Realism is modding is putting into Seasons, into FS19. It's going to be even better. Crop rotations and all kinds of things. I'm assuming that's what they are alluding to in their last post, but it's it seems pretty obvious to me that that's what they're going to do, which is awesome. That's going to be awesome, adding crop rotations in. And what they did with the hay system and stuff, that's going to be, that's going to be awesome. It's going to be a pain in the ass and people are going to hate it, but I'm going to love it, even though it's going to be harder. Logger Silo Plat. I can't say that, but it's the name. It's on Mod Hoster. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I could get mods like that on, PC, or on, uh, on PS4, on console. That'd be awesome. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a heavy rip on that one because that's not going to happen. So we're going to get a single grass bale out of this because there's a little bit of grass left in the baler. I wanted to finish cleaning it up. And I thought maybe I was going to get a full bale and I didn't. So, yeah. A little bit of grass coming up. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Ugh. There we go. That's all I wanted. Oh no, don't fold it. Oh, it's probably good that I didn't unload it right there because I wanted to unload it over here in the grass. There we go. I would rather 19. You know German. Yeah, I don't know that much. <laughs> I'm not good at reading it for sure. I'm better if like you know, if people are speaking it and stuff, I know like some of the phrases and things like that, and like the common responses and things, but reading it is a whole other story. I butcher the hell out of it. I just don't have, I can't, I can't spit when I talk. That's my problem. I can't <laughs> like I'm supposed to. 
can't hack while I talk. That's, that's what it sounds like in German. <laughs> and plus, most of the phrases that I know are probably things that I shouldn't repeat. <laughs> kind of like my, uh, my Spanish. <laughs> Would you rather Australia or America? Well, see, right now, my, my buddy, who's in the party, is... It, there you go. <laughs> so, uh... I'll just not answer that question. But you, I'm I'm American, so you know, I mean, I gotta, I would say probably I would rather America than Australia. Even though I would ra I'd rather the scenery of Australia, but the freedoms here. There you go. If I could have both, I'd do that. that field done. Now we'll get this one started on field seven. Live in Phoenix. In Phoenix, America. In Phoenix, Arizona, America. Alright, let's just knock some of this off. I'm going to set off a worker so it'll keep a good straight line going. You still playing Apex, dude? Oh, my bad. Could have just told me to shut up. I'd have just shut the fuck up. Just be like, hey, bro. I'm like, I'm kicking ass right now. Can you please, uh, you know, shut the fuck up? I'm trying to concentrate. Cold in Australia? What? What's the temperature down there, bro? How cold is it right now? That didn't tell me how cold it is, though. <laughs> I said, how cold is it? This motherfucker says it's raining. <coughs> What's it? What is it in Celsius? Ow. <coughs> 18. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> what was that? That's like 40, 50 something here. I'm taking a random guess right there. I don't really know. I, I have a... Oh. Oh. shit. Well, I know that your zero is our 32. <laughs> I know that for a fact, but so if it's 18 there, that's why I was just kind of guessing maybe 40s, 50s, high 40s, mid 50s maybe. I'm just guessing. That, to me though, that's not that cold. That's not very cold. Because where I'm from, I'm from Oklahoma. And we're sort of almost dead center in, this, in the country, you know. We're a little bit southern. And so, I mean, it's, you know, it's temperate here. It stays pretty, pretty warm most of the time. But in, like, in Fahrenheit, it, like, it gets down to, like... I mean, it gets down, sometimes at night it gets down below, below zero. Excuse me, not below zero, below, like, below freezing, below 32. I mean, it gets down to 18, 20s. And that's pretty freaking cold. I mean, that, that's negative, that's probably got to be at least negative. 
three or four or five or something Celsius. I mean that's not like a super common thing, but during the winter time, well, we have we do have definitely have days like that. With, especially with the wind chill involved, it gets way colder than that. Yeah, it's not winter for us yet. That's, that's true. We're actually just now kind of coming into the end of spring, or not the end of spring, like the middle. Toy, it's toy like a toy that. Yeah, yeah. My sister's boyfriend plays that on on there too. What's my opinion about New Woodshire? Uh, what do you what do you mean? Like what's like just generally speaking? Um, oh, my phone has a, an update. That's nice. I actually kind of need that. I've been having a couple issues. Um, I think that I like some some of the changes that that they made to that map as opposed to like the 17 version. It's autumn for me. Sorry about bad spelling. Oh, it's okay. Autumn is one of those words the new map I like it I like the new PDA I like the way the PDA is like the mini map it's kind of funky colored but once you get used to it it's really easy to discern you know where everything is I, I like that that's kind of cool um, but as far as like the map itself is concerned I like the the buildings and like the the cow the cow pasture and things like that I like the fact that it's only 10 grand. That's pretty awesome because you can put it, you can put more than one down. Um, things like that. The placeables on that map are pretty cool. Like the, like the silo that I was talking about earlier. That's that's a pretty awesome silo. I wish that was like a placeable you could put down on other maps. So I like like the buildings and stuff. Um, but there's a couple of things that were on the 17 map that I wish were they would have left. They kind of hinted towards it sort of and I, I kind of alluded to it too in my stream last night um, but I never actually went and over there and looked at it um, but but on 17 there was a, a spot on the edge of the map over on the east side of the map um, right at the edge where now it's been expanded and there's still another field on the other side of it now but there was an, an area there where it was really unique to that map that map was the only one that when you started out you started out with windmills and that was a big deal that was the only map anywhere on console anyway um, that you would start out with windmills and that those made you a shit ton of money like fifteen hundred dollars an hour that's a lot of money when you're when you're playing legit and you don't you know, you're not doing anything. Alright, Nub, have a good night, man. But when you're playing legit and you don't have a lot of money and stuff, making $1,500 an hour is a huge deal. And there was three of them there. That's $4,500 an hour. That was insane. And that was the only map that was like that. And they took those out. Like, they could have easily... They could have easily put those in. You know, that's not one of those mods... <clears throat> mods that has to be um, it's something that just generates you don't you don't add anything to it you don't do anything to it, it just generates income that's not one of those things that has to be in mod hub or has to be on like a base map or whatever for them to be able to use um, map makers can put things like that in a map very easily they could have easily done that you know not that I'm like not that I could make a fucking map or anything because I definitely couldn't but you know, that's an easy thing to do, and they didn't do that. 
Not that I'm dogging on them at all, because I love that map, and that's where I, that's what I was gonna say. Aside from that, I love that map. I love everything about it. I love the fact that it, how it's set up. The only thing that I miss about it is the windmills and that one road that had construction all going on it and stuff that was pretty cool i wish they would have done something better to like harken back to that in this map like leave a little bit to show like they had just finished that construction or something you know what i mean like just a couple of cones in one little area you know or or something but it all looks brand new now like i guess which makes sense if it was done it was done but i wish they would have kind of hinted towards it but I like maps like that. I like small maps. So I'm probably a little biased when it comes to that one and the old stream farm. But it's good. I like it. I don't I I hate the fact that most of the maps that have come out recently there's no like seed or fertilizer reef refill points just kind of built into it like mercury farms is that way but there aren't very many others what's going on ollie old stream is a masterpiece it really is a good map it's that north part that they added on to the top of it is a trip I mean, that's a lot of grass. I mean, I know you could you could pretty much build your own you could build your own map up there. It's so big. But the only downside to old stream is you start out using like almost 900 slots already before before you do anything, and most of that stuff is not sellable. Even after you sell the equipment, you're only taking it down like 70 slots. So you're still looking at over 800. It's not. That's not good. That really sucks. But other than that. It'd be fine. That area up there would be great to build your own farm and everything if the slot count wasn't so high. But that might, that might, that might get changed in an update later. You never know. It could. Flash bomb Kevin. Dude, nice name pretty cool I like that how you doing tonight man <clears throat> welcome everybody yeah don't forget to leave a like on the stream that's one of those things that it don't take any effort but it sure helps I wish they would have done something different with the the textures of the soybeans. It still looks really flat and fake. Hmm. Let's go empty this tipper out. Like and subscribe. up my man. Ollie, you're on PC. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but there's probably not going to be anything very interesting for you on this stream then. Because <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on console. You guys have much better mods than we do. Feel free to stay and watch, though. Yeah, we chat around here. I talk people's ears off and shit. Like, you gotta wear earmuffs when you come to this shit. I'm telling you. Your mom chats like that. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Man, you need some butter. For that toast. Whew. Man hot in here now <laughs> there's our single solitary grass bale that's actually like 60% straw 
I wish they'd let you unload partial bales with that square, square baler. Polly said, I will watch till the end. My man. That's what's up. Yo, why is this? Hold up. Oh, because it's full. I was like, why is he creeping like that? Let's just back her up. This is soybeans. It's a lot of money involved. Not that great of a yield on, on soybeans, really. I mean, it's decent, but it's it's really not that good. If you think about it, 4,500 liters is what we've got so far. And we've done a loop around the field and this much of it. So we're looking at maybe 13,000 liters on this field, if I guessed. Maybe 14 if we got lucky. So every one counts. I ain't trying to run this stuff over. Alright, John. Have a good night, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for chatting and everything. Peace. Oh, God. Alright, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm moonwalking up to the harvester here. Alright, well, we can just leave this trailer here. And knock out some bales. I need to grab a uh, bale stacker. I might use one of the Anderson ones. Should I use one of the Anderson ones or should I use the Arkeson? Decisions, decisions. What the hell happened where? Would you just die again? Dude, you're not supposed to do that. You don't win when you die. I'm just saying. Kinda, you kind of lose. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I think we'll lease one of the, the Anderson Bill. Those stackers. I'll probably get the one that lays them flat instead of the one that turns them up. It only holds 14, so we got 52 bales, I think. 52 bales total. So that's like three trips and some change. I have a few left after that. to go very far with them. That's it right there. Three grand to lease it. Extra 80 bucks for Michelins. Fuck it. Go big or go home, right? A whole $80. Woo. We're balling, guys. We're balling. Alright. So we'll go pick up all those silage bales. Hopefully I can get like a whole load done. And get them dropped off. Before the harvester gets full. You know what? I didn't really check. To see. Well, oh, I'm going the wrong way. To see what the horsepower requirement was for this. Because I'm pretty sure it might be too high. Oh, at least it, uh, 130. It's not, but it's, like, right up there towards the border of this. This is 143 or 46, I think. Should be all right. Seemed like it was taking off a little slow, though. Had me worried for a second.
Alien Gen makes awesome maps. Yep. Fight me if you don't like it. <clears throat> Judging by where I left the trailer, I don't think we're even going to get over and get any loaded before it says it's 80% full, so it's probably right about there already. Get up this hill, bro. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Funk. It's a pretty sweet trailer, it really is. Come on. Come on. Man, was I really that far away? Two more. And the harvester is still going, so we'll at least get this loaded. And then we'll go unload the harvester. Oh, rip daz. Rip daz in the chat. The other trailer, the other tractor, we could. Yeah, let's do that. We'll leave this one here. We'll grab the Fiat and hook it up to the to the tipper, and we'll use it to um, unload the, head, the the harvester as we go. fence right up there by that hedge. It's alright for right now though. Looked like there was going to be somebody coming. Oh, let's put the subsoiler up for now. It 
It's showing a little bit of wear too. I can see some spots that aren't orange. It may actually need some repair. Yeah. Looks like it might need some repair, so we'll, we'll deal with that afterwards. I'll try not to forget. Chat, you have to remind me. Because I will. This beast. I love this tractor. This should probably. Oh. There's another one of those things that Giants said couldn't be done. The plane's flying overhead. So, how's the game volume? How's the game volume? That voice been cracking a lot lately. <coughs> how's the game volume for you guys? <coughs> I've been having to, like, tweak it lately. Sometimes it's way too loud. Sometimes it's been too quiet. Sometimes it's been too loud after it was too quiet and I didn't even change the settings. So... Let's grab the harvester before they get started. Let's wait till they totally turn around because I don't want to destroy all these crops. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> About halfway full. Not a bad time to unload. That'll give us plenty of time to go drop off our silage bales. Those are going to the BGA, by the way. Actually, they're probably going to sit at the BGA. They're not going to get sold just yet. Hi, Abe. Sumner. Not Summer. Oh, 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 oh. I think I took that a little too wide to be able to straighten it out there. Let's try this. Oof. Yeah, that's close enough. I'm not going to fiddle with that too much. Go. Looks good. Alright, we can cut this tractor off. Huh. Gotta get rid of this edge. That's gotta go. I don't think I'll do that right now, though. Like Spike! Hell yeah. Do it. Look at me, it's like I'm playing Fortnite. Ain't nobody sniping me in this, dude. This is better than a bush. I'm telling you. Soybeans. That's where it's at. Actually, corn. Corn's where it's at. I don't have a cornfield, though. Not right now. We'll go hide in someone else's cornfield. That's even better. And they won't think to look for you there. It's cool how the last set of bales kind of sits there at like an awkward angle on those spikes. Looks like it's about to just fall right off, but it doesn't. Surprisingly. And I know you're probably wondering, where are you going? I'm going there. What happened, dude? You died. I 
Yeah, I was all like, damn, but that's... <laughs> set up a command for the lights like that would be a good idea oh that's why I didn't sell that field yet Daz. that's why I still owned it because I didn't cut out those freaking stumps I cut a hole in the fence but I didn't take the stump out yet or the hedge I think there's actually an opening on the other end of that field that could have went through there. We'll look on the way back through. Wow, I'm so surprised I didn't hit that sign. Subsoil. I gotta repair the subsoil. Good looking at. Uh, and the tractor too, maybe. Alright, so my plan is just to like. Not jackknife the trailer first, but. Stack these up right here. Not stack them up, but line them up right here. Or I can just come and put them in the in the uh, oh no wrong button in the cell point later. Yeah, that should be good once I start driving forward. Oh, that's a little bit of an angle there. There we go. There we go. Good. Could have been a little bit better, but that wasn't bad. That's slower about down. I like how it folds right back up. It's like, yo, let's go. I'm ready. Let's do this. The arc you send you, you fold it back up after you unload it, and it takes like a thousand years for that thing to freaking flip back up like if you're trying to wait to go through a gate or something that you won't fit through until it goes up go up it's gonna be a minute yeah there is a way through this field oh no it was that field that I was thinking oh there is a way in though yeah either way I really struggled to get up that hill trees do. <clears throat> I have like four trees to take out. Four trees that I consider a necessity anyway. There's probably 80 that I want to take out. There's four that absolutely need to come out. Actually there's more than that if you count the ones that are in the grass fields in G1 and G2. Done those yet either. Those need to come out too. Nah, 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 nah. 
We're gonna use the uh, interrogator next. Woo hoo! I'm freaking excited! <laughs> I haven't actually used it yet. I just kind of played with it. These fire emojis, yeah. Till I get my own hype. I can't do emojis on YouTube until you get start getting members and all that. You have to be montaged then you have to get members and all that stuff first too. Pain in the butt. I don't know if we're gonna make it up there in time. Come on, come on, come on. No, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. I gotta wait for him to back all the way up, otherwise, it'll be crop destruction time. There we go. Don't wanna deal with that. I'm unloading it pretty early, honestly. I could be letting this thing go twice as long as I am. I just don't want to keep forgetting about it, so I will. Let's check our, uh, our subsoiler. It's not showing in the menu that it needs repair, but it doesn't always for the implements. So I'll have to grab it and take it to the toolbox. Okay. I know it needs it. I can tell it needs it just by looking at it. I love the fact that we can have unwrapped silage bales now. Where did that one go? That's weird, I'm missing one. It just disappeared.
there. So fold that up. We'll go down the road this time. I'm gonna take these to the BGA. And then what's left is going to go to um, the cow pasture. Because I'm just going to feed them um, silage and grass, the cows that I do get. And skip the road. <clears throat> be a lot quicker to go this way. But yeah, I'm just gonna feed them silage and grass to get them going. That'll get them on their feet. It's still 100%, so. And once we get going, we get these fields going, get some money coming in. And I have enough money to buy a food mixer then I'll start feeding them TMR blind turn oh, nobody's behind me there was See how much is away?
<clears throat> we'll grab the subsoiler and repair it while we're here. Might do some repairs on this as well, same time. That doesn't really need that much repair. But we'll go ahead and repair it. Looking all good again. So for future reference, that thing looks like it needs repair well before it does. Eighty-three bucks, not bad. I think the harvester may have already finished. I might have missed it, but if not, it's really close. Nope. I think it's just about to, though. Sneeze coming on. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, he was kind of at the crest of the hill. Maybe he does have a little bit more left. Yeah, not much. One more strip after that, and that should probably do it. turn too sharp with this thing see it kind of jackknifes it a little bit looks really cool. I like the animations on this trailer. Yeah, I'm 
harvester's done. We'll get this trailer loaded up and then we'll set it to the side and go deal with the harvester again. We've still got a couple more fields that we need to get it going on. We might check the repair on the header. We may need a little bit. Now, since we need to lime this, I'm also going to plow it. So I like to do the plowing and the liming at the same time. I missed a little bit of soybeans right there. It's okay. It's just a little bit. for soybeans looking like we might sell some of these right now make a little bit of money hopefully got 13,000 liters in storage too so we might top off this trailer and go sell it 1400 at the vehicle shop it's really not that good It's not that great of a price. 21,000 liters. It'd be, it would only be like $32,000. I don't know if that'd be worth it when I could get like 50. Hmm. I might just hold on to it for now. I'm gonna go sell a, a load of water to the uh, greenhouses. Or we could do forty thousand dollars worth of fertilizer sell that potentially double our money that way Sixteen's getting plowed. I'm not even gonna worry about the cotton. It wouldn't really be worth it. Seventeen and eighteen. Could could go do the. Well, there's a pretty good price at vehicle shop for for sunflowers. The only thing about that is we don't have a sunflower slash corn header. <coughs> so. that begs the question is it worth it to to do that right now or just to wait until later find another way to make some money get rid of the soybeans get started on the soybeans not soybeans canola i think that's what i'll do i'll start on the canola that way we don't incur any more costs right now and then we'll go sell a load of water and see where we're at and if it's not doing that well then we'll go ahead and start selling some of those bales at the BGA and maybe do a fertilizing contract we'll use the interrogator do a fertilizing contract that bad boy sitting over there
Ooh, whoa. That was close. Rip Daz again. It's funny how the truck is stopping like it thinks I'm just going to run right out on the street like that. Notice how when I take over and the worker isn't doing it, the trucks don't give a shit. guys there's just lightning outside and stuff so it is very possible that I could lose it for electricity at any moment so if the stream does end that's probably what happened and that would be a heavy rip because I won't be able to well I'll still be able to tell you that that's what happened but I won't be able to start it back up until it comes back on and that does happen sometimes when there's heavy thunderstorms and stuff like there is tonight. I should invest in a generator. Dad's having some issues. I don't know if it's his internet or mine, but it's causing nap type issues for some reason. We both got some like inclement weather going on, so.
That's really lightning a lot outside right now. Save it real quick, just in case. It's getting pretty crazy outside. Yeah, man. I think me and you are both having some pretty shitty weather going on. Speaking of that, you know, I just realized my dogs are still outside. I mean, they have shelter and stuff, but they would probably love to be inside. <laughs> so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this worker off on this squared off part of this field. And I'm going to go let my dogs in real quick. So, oh god. I'll try to be quick about it. But this way I have something to kind of watch. I'll be back.
Oh, just in time. Surprisingly, you got all of that to fit, too. Yeah. No shit, you scared the fuck out of me. I like answered you and then, then jumped. Sorry. Sorry about that stream. Had to deal with the the aminals. I may still actually have to get them set up because they wanted some food and water and everything. If I don't get it all, they're going to start barking at me. Just like one more time. What was going on with the the nat type stuff earlier? for a second. Um, and we're still going six miles an hour, so the header must be okay right now. Or we'll be going slow. Sorry if you guys can hear my dogs like chugging that water, but I guess they're thirsty and hungry, or they're chomping too. They're like, oh, it's stormy outside. We want everything right now. We're afraid we're never going to get it again. Oh man, that's huge thunder. 
Oof. Yeah, that was big. Like shook the glass in the windows. There's another one coming. Yeah, here comes the rain. It's funny how I can hear it all. It's coming in waves. I think I might go ahead and cut the stream because it's starting to get crazy. I might as well do it while I have control over it. Um, if for some reason it decides to stop and I can check the weather and the storm has passed, it's not too crazy late. I might start streaming again, but if not, y'all will catch me tomorrow. Or, well, technically for me later on today. So, um, don't forget to, uh, hit up the Twitter, because that will keep you informed, and you'll be able to tell whenever I go live, and wherever I go live, so, do that, and y'all will be good, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace.